Oh, y'all got the old school peeler. <laughs> Whose grandmother's house y'all found this peeler at? I don't even think I know how to use this. So let me tell you something. So we, look, I'm bending it. So we had these peelers growing. I think I still might have one in my, I broke it. Yeah. What's up, Food 52? Your girl Millie Peartree here. Today we're making one of my Southern staple recipes, a maple bourbon candied yam. Yams are a little bit more on the starchy side and sweet potatoes are a little bit more on the sweet side, hence their name, sweet potatoes. Um, but you know, yams aren't as readily available in the United States as sweet potatoes. So I believe that's one of the reasons why we use sweet potatoes more often than yams. Now that we peeled our yams, we're gonna cut them. Cut them in whatever shape, size you want. So we don't wanna cut them too thin only because we're gonna bake them in the oven and we're not looking for mashed sweet potatoes. We want this to have like some texture, we want it to hold up some. So I would just straight cut them, drop them into your baking pan. Okay, so we have all of our sweet potatoes trimmed, cut, and put into our baking dish. So now we're gonna make our maple bourbon glaze for our sweet potatoes. So we have our pan on, we're gonna take a stick of unsalted butter. I always keep unsalted butter in my house, but if you have salted, feel free to use it. You don't even have to wait for this to melt. You could just start layering in all of your goodness. We have some unsalted butter. I have some brown sugar, maple syrup, and then our spices. I have cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and some salt. And I'm gonna use the zest of this orange. I love to use orange zest because it adds so much flavor. Orange is like, some people say it reminds them of the holidays, but I just feel like it's that brightness that this dish needs. Sometimes you just need like that little bit of citrus. And we're also gonna add the juice of this orange. Ooh, that smells good. So we're gonna melt all of our ingredients together with the exception of our bourbon and our vanilla. Now I like to melt all of my ingredients together. I know there's some recipes where you could just throw all this on top of your sweet potatoes, but I often find this gives it a better balance of flavor. There's times I've had recipes where you could just dump everything on top, and sometimes you get like those pockets of, you know, the spice, you'll get the pockets of the sugar. I just feel like this way is a little bit better. But again, if you wanna dump everything on top and let the oven do all the work, feel free to do it. So now that we have our spices, our butter, our sugar, and our syrup fully combined and melted, we're gonna add our bourbon. So of course we have um, an electric cooktop. So I have fire. I gotta know how to use it, there you go. So we're gonna add our bourbon to our pan. And we're gonna step aside a little bit. Just light her up. Smells good. So um, we turned our fire off. We made sure the fire is completely down. Now we're gonna add our pure vanilla extract. And the reason why we don't add it earlier, especially when we're actually cooking the process, is because we don't wanna cook out all the flavor in vanilla extract. So oftentimes you'll see in a recipe, do it off the stove. That is the reason because even though we are flambéing something, we want as much flavor from this delicious bottle of goodness as possible. A little swirly swirl. We have our oven preheated at 350. We will cover this up and we're gonna pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna come back to it, baste it up, and then we're gonna pop it back into the oven for about another 15 minutes. I put the foil back on top of it. However, you can take it off to caramelize your sweet potatoes if you want to, but you know, we just want it super fork tender. Let's take a look, see. Oh, look at how beautiful these yams are. And I also wanna talk about like this beautiful syrupy consistency. So look, it's not the traditional syrup that you're gonna have when you just dump a whole bunch of sugar over your candy yams. This just has great flavor. And you know what? I will totally reserve this liquid because you know, I'm an upcycle girl. You can use it for cocktails. Um, you can reduce it down a little bit more on the stove and use for pancakes and waffles. Or you can use it as a glaze for cakes or a soaking glaze for cakes. You know, if you have a cake that's a little bit too dense and you wanna zhuzh her up a little bit, 
this would be the perfect liquid for that. So without further ado, let's get into tasting it. Look at how tender that is. So you see how it has some texture? It doesn't fall off the fork, but you can tell it's super tender and why that's why we call it fork tender, right? Let's go in for the taste. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Each and everything we put in this dish is very prevalent. You can taste it. And I have a question, like, what would you add to this recipe or what would you take away from this recipe? But if you like this recipe the way it is, you can find it at Food52. I want you guys to like and share, but what else would you like to see me make? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, see you later.